लेट्स लर्न नर्सिंग subscribe to the sage nurse and click on the bell icon to learn more about nursing hello everyone welcome to my channel sage nurse this year onwards semester course have been started for bsc nursing all the first year students they have almost completed their first semester and semester end exam is knocking at your door are you nervous or wondering how the question paper will look like what will be the mark division and how i can get a good score in this exam so please don't skip the video watch the full video to get all of your answers first we'll discuss about the mark division you have to write 75 marks question answer for this semester end exam and 25 marks will be given from your college as internal marks So in these seventy-five marks, in first paper you will be having applied anatomy and physiology. Applied anatomy will be section A, and physiology will be section B. And in the second paper, applied psychology and sociology. Applied sociology will be in section A. Applied psychology will be in section B. Both the section A will carry thirty-seven marks, and section B will carry thirty-eight marks. In these thirty-seven marks. you have to answer for 6 mcq that will carry one mark each so total six number then one essay type answer that will carry 10 marks then your short note you have to write three that will carry five marks each so total 15 and there will be very short answer that will carry two marks each and you have to answer three questions so it will be total six in case of section b as it is 38 marks only one mcq will be extra so mcq will be 7 instead of 6 other than that everything will be the same coming to the next section how i can score good marks in my term end exam you have to keep some points in your mind first of all go through the syllabus cover all the topic there is nothing suggestion list everything is important go through all the topic complete your syllabus that is most important if you cover all the syllabus no question will be tough for you second point to be remember make a list of the topic you have already completed at least once and what is totally left so first go for the topic that is totally left so that you will have some basic idea of each and every topic then you can revise the topic you have already studied third point to remember make a study group and share share whatever you have learned today in detail with your group so that this topic will be revised for you and your friend will learn a new topic and ask your friends to do the same whatever they have learned they can share with you in detail so that they will revise and you can learn about the new topic so this will help you to complete maximum syllabus in a short time next is do not panic do not over stress yourself and please do not spend sleepless night before exams sleep helps us to send the information or data from our recent memory to our long term memory so if you are spending sleepless night you will be forgetting easily so have a good sleep have food and then go for the exam and please 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 do not panic you can do it you have that power preparation is done you are going for the exam after getting the answer sheet please write carefully your roll number and registration number this is a very common mistake students put their roll number in place of registration number and they write registration number in place of roll number if you do such mistakes your copy can be dismissed so be very careful do not write your name or any other information they are not asking for there will be particular space for each and every detail they are seeking without that you don't need to write anything if you have any kind of doubt you are not sure ask your invigilator next point after writing the roll number and registration number correctly start writing your answer cover all the answer of particular one section suppose you are starting with section a then cover all the answer of section a then go for the section b in case you are not remembering some answer or you want to write at the last time so leave some space for that answer and then go for the section b 
otherwise if you are not doing so suppose you are leaving one question then you have completed section b and you are writing that question from section a at the last part that question will not be checked you will not be given any number for that question so that will be your waste so please don't do that be very careful complete one section and then go for the another section next point is always giving your markings properly otherwise there will be a confusion that question will not be given any marks see the question paper and mark the mark the question appropriately then start writing your answer mention section a and section b separately give a heading of section a then start writing after finishing you write section b and then start writing another answers about writing answers always start with mcq because mcq consume very less time if you don't know the answer or if you are you cannot remember the answer write the full sentence leave the space for the answer of that one word or two word answer then continue it will help you to save many time otherwise if you start with the long questions essay type question you will not be getting time to write the mcqs so first always do the mcq then go for the very short answer then short note and write the essay type answer at the last it will help you to save your time very 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 much when you are writing answer for essay type question short note or very short answer be very specific write the answer point wise write that much is asked for do not write unnecessary or unrelated things and try to avoid paragraph writing try to write point wise and if you are writing in paragraph also please underline the highlighted area or important facts so it will easily come to examiner's notice next presentation is very much important if you are very good at your study but your presentation is not good then there is a risk if you will be getting very low marks so you have to present your copy in a very subtle manner like like you have to put margin on the upper side of the page and left side of the page no need to give margin to the all all four sides just give two side marking then use only black and blue dot pen do not use gel pen avoid using any other color only use for blue and black black is for highlighting or giving the points and with blue you can write the whole answer script if you want to cut something if you have written something wrong you want to cut please don't scribble just cut it with one single line lastly after completing all the questions go and check whether you have already completed whether you have already attempted all the questions or not if you missed something complete it then and there so these are all my suggestions for all of you I hope I can help you a little with my this video and if you are having any doubt please ask me in comment section I will obviously answer that if you want any more specific video on any specific topic please let me know in comment section I will make that video for sure and if you like my if you like the video please like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe the sage nurse for more updates and one more thing All the best to the students who are going to appear in first semester examination stay healthy study hard and do well all my prayers are with you always and we will meet you in the next video till then bye